North Augusta came into being in 1906, but before then North Augusta was several other names. One was Savannah Town and Campbellton, and then it became Hamburg, closer to the river. And each pieces of those have different histories and different stories to tell. Some kind of funny, some very, very different. It's kind of worth looking into. I moved from, North, from Augusta to North Augusta 25 years ago, and I was always told there was a dragon in the river that came out to get you. And I've not seen a dragon. We're doing a lot of partnerships with Augusta now. I work with different historical sites over there and with different organizations. And I think they're kind of really jealous of us because we've done so much more with our riverfront and what we're doing with the development of downtown. If you don't tell the story and you don't talk about the history, it will die. Sesame Lodge was built in 1902. It was founded by, uh, built by a female architect. Actually, her father was the builder and he was an aide to General Wade Hampton during the Civil War. And it was originally built for a bed and breakfast. It's a private home. The second owners live in it now. From, they bought it from the original owners of the house. Snow Cafe Inn is a great drive-in restaurant. It's typical of the 60s, and you can get the best root beer float in town. And they have a lot of things going on, and it has the same feel that it has, and it's in the second ownership. Star of Edgefield is an old brick home in town. It has original wall work from England. It has been said that it was used for a hospital during the Civil War. It's a beautiful old structure. Palmetto Lodge was originally built by Edison Marshall, and it was actually a hunting lodge for gentlemen in the area. When the Hampton Terrace Hotel was in its heyday here, the gentlemen had a place to actually go and be a, a refuge in a hunting lodge and it's since been changed several times into many different things, restaurants and everything. But someone has recently bought it and it's really gonna come back to its own, I think. The Living History Park came into being 15 years ago. This was the original waterworks of North Augusta. It was kind of a banded area, left totally for just nothing and was totally overgrown and a group of volunteers came in and got the park, asked the city if we could have a resolution to restore the park and make it into a living history site and we've been working on a total of, this is our 16th year, and we have events four times a year down here, and everything we do is free, and it's very educational, and we've really taken, this we call this Central Park in North Augusta, a little small piece of Central Park and a small piece of Colonial Williamsburg. And when you come to North Augusta, you really, really need to see the Greenway and our activity center. It's just a wonderful piece of property and you can always find something to do. It's more of a recreational town and it's a great place to walk your dogs and just to, to have a really good weekend. Please come see North Augusta so you can see all the wonderful things we're doing.